G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week it's the Skips prize build video. You may remember I had the draw last year, the winner got to choose two of the castings from the group. Skip chose this BMW, which is a bit of a challenge for me because you know this is probably a car I wouldn't have normally done but I had a lot of fun doing it. And he also picked out the Matchbox number one Dodge Challenger. And he asked me if I could do it like another one that I'd built before. So because I've done one like the Challenger before, I'm going to focus more on the BMW, but I'll still show you what I do with the Challenger. Um, and good times will surely ensue. So let's get crack a as they say, or as I say, and see if we can't turn this into something that's worthy of actually being a prize. <laughs> Oh, hang on. <laughs> So if this was a straight restoration I wouldn't worry about removing all the casting marks and things like that but because it's a special custom prize car I'm making a little bit more of an effort to make it a bit smoother and a bit better than it probably well than it ever was from the factory.
So I thought I'd try some Tamiya metal primer. They make it for photo etched parts and stuff. I thought, well, it's got to adhere better to metal than I'll give it a go. It's clear, so when it, it's hard to tell that you've even put it on there, but I did put it on there. It's probably just another, you know, hobby supplier trick to get me to spend 10 times what I should have when it was just a, you know, probably could have got a tin of $5 paint from Super Cheap. But anyway, after I got that on, uh, I put a silver base coat in anticipation of the pearl coat colour that I've chosen to put over the top. So straight out of nowhere, with no preparation whatsoever, are all the restored parts for the Challenger. Skip said he wanted one painted a similar colour to the convertible I did. You know, I did that one in hemi-orange, like actual matched hemi-orange, but I'd run out of that Skip. So hoping you forgive me, I used regular Tamiya orange for yours, but I'm really pleased with the finish. I hope you like it too. gel pens here for the tail lights and they looked really good when I first did them but when I checked them again in the morning the all the color had gone out of it like it just run away and dried up so I went back to old reliable Posca pens So I've got a set of reel riders to put onto the BMW and I was just going to fit them under the original spring but when I did that they sat miles out of the wheel arches and they looked a bit goofy so I've taken the spring plate off, I'm going to put some brass tubing in and uh, go that way. It does still roll which is good and I'm pleased with the end result. Getting into some finer details with the ye olde Molito chrome pen. Uh, some really neat little details on this model. It's uh, yeah, it really came alive.
I'm masking the top off now so I can reapply the black finish to the roof rails and a couple other little finer details I want to do in black too. Change the colour of the interior. I'm just going to colour in the little mobile phone that was in the console. <laughs> A little bit of black wash because I just can't help myself. <sighs> so here's all our pieces ready to be reassembled. Now for the tail lights, I wanted to make them really stand out, so I went on ye olde internet and found a fairly straight on picture of a similar vintage BMW and then I cut it down, trimmed it up, flipped them, flopped and did all that stuff and printed them out on decal paper. I did uh, the original tail lights with silver molotow and then I put the decals over the top and hopefully they look like a headlight, or not headlights, tail lights. So all the place in the house to go, but no, Farby has to walk right across in front of me. Thanks Lord Farbington, your help is immeasurable.
So they didn't quite, the decals didn't quite wrap around the sides, left a little glimmer of silver. So I just got a bit of Tamiya Orange Clear and filled in the gap. Just like that, as if by magic, we're done. So here we are back at the start with our BMW 323i Cabriolet. It was generously donated, as was all the giveaway selection cars by Ben, friend of the channel and regular viewer all the way from England. Thank you again, Ben. I've got a particular soft spot for this car. I've got the blue one from my childhood collection. I've, I've still got it. Um, grandparents gave it to me with a couple other cars and the blue transporter for Christmas one year so anyway but it's not one I ever thought I'd restore or do a custom of but it's got so many neat details on it it really lent it to it and I had a really good time doing it but anyway enough of me wobbling on it wobbling waffling can't even get the waffle right this is what we started with and this is what we're left with now ta -da! both looking a million bucks which makes them two million bucks love the brown color on the BMW and the black wheels on it even though they stick out from the wheel arches a teensy touch I still reckon they look cool Challenge is looking equally awesome with its black vinyl top we put a black RT style bumblebee stripe on the back of it for you skip uh, I don't have the means to make tiny tiny RTs but anyway decals that is I'm really stoked with how this came out. I'm particularly stoked with the BMW and how well it's responded to, to the finer detailing. It's a brilliant casting. Uh, and the Challenger, well, it's always going to be a classic for me. Well, Skip, thanks very much for entering. Congratulations on winning, and I hope you enjoy both the cars when they finally get end up in your hands. You should have them by the time this video is live. Thank you very much to all my regular viewers. Hello to any new viewers. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen here and think you might like to try some more, just click on one of these videos here. If you think you'd like, like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, click on my bald nut in the middle of the screen there and you too can be swept away to a world of PB magic every second Friday, sometimes more. Depends on how it goes for me. That's modern life, I suppose. So thanks very much. Have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.